All right, Coach, so uh, you know, the calendar says October now, so we're drawing ever closer to the season here. Uh, how have practices been going for you and the team so far? Uh, practices have been um, really improved. I've been excited about the way this group has practiced. I've seen a higher level of consistency, a higher level of competitiveness. Um, so I'm excited to see that continue to grow. Um, but I've been, I've been proud of the way they've raised the level on that. And, you know, it's something I've asked you about before, but what's the, what are the differences for, especially for you in year two, as opposed to year one, where you're trying to, you're doing everything from scratch? Yeah, well, year two, there's just more routines. You know, I feel like um, for myself, you know, you're more settled in a place for our staff um, and for our team. So I feel like our daily routines are established. And I think when that's in place, it's easier to, um, have consistent expectations and uh, you know our t our team um, as well has thrived under that and um, I hope it continues to be an environment where you can foster growth um, and yeah I know you'll you'll get leadership from many different people yeah. throughout the year but you've named a couple captains in uh, Andrew Cecil and Madison Parker if you could just just talk about kind of what what that means and what you expect from them. Yeah, well, I'm really proud of them. You know, um, they've earned that. They were voted on that by the team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you earn that every day, and they've brought, um, especially on the court, just a real level of consistent effort. Um, you know, leadership is ever evolving, so I'm excited to see how they can continue to grow. That you know, leadership on a team is so important. Um, teams that maximize that that seems to be in place. So. Um, we want to find ways to maximize what we can do, so we're going to continue to grow in, in our leadership. And, uh, you know, obviously every year you're going to have a number of newcomers, but this year, different from last, several of those student-athletes are not only new to BG, but new to the United States. You know, I know yeah. Mari's been in the States, but, she, I mean, you've got a, a newcomer to BG from Japan, one from Australia, and then Kaylee over the border in Canada. Just, I guess... Yeah. What kind of things, as a coaching staff, as you know, the players, as teammates, do you? What do you guys do to not only acclimate them to Bowling Green and to the women's basketball program, but just to life in Northwest Ohio and the United States? Well, I love it. You know, they're bringing um, new things to us. You know, new cultures, new ideas, um, and I, I love what that's bringing to our team, both on and off the court. Um, I think the assimilation to college is always a transition and making sure people feel like you know this is home and making sure they feel comfortable and, and that this is a family away from a family and um, we're fortunate to have them here and we're going to do our best to, to make sure that Bowling Green feels like a home away from home. Okay thank you very much. Thanks Mike.